Hey guys, it's Emma, and today I'm here to do the Doctor Who book tag. I was tagged from Ivy from Ivan Reads, so I'm going to put her link down below in the comments so you guys can check out her channel. Okay, so let's get started. We have the first Doctor. It is your favorite first book in a series. For that, I picked Divergent by Veronica Roth. I really liked this series, but really the only books that I really liked in the series was Divergent and Four. Insurgent and Allegiant I could have done without because they were basically the same thing in different locations, and I just really did not like those two books. But I absolutely loved Divergent and I absolutely loved Four. So this is my favorite book. First book in the series, the first Doctor. Okay, for Doctor number two, we have your favorite sequel. So I picked Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. It's Harry Potter, do I really need an explanation for why I picked this one? Okay, for the third Doctor, we have your favorite trilogy. Yes, I'm going to go super cliche on this. I picked The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. And that doesn't really need an explanation either. I went cliche on that one. Sorry, guys. Okay, for the fourth Doctor, we have a colorful book. For that one, I picked Theodore Boone, Kid Lawyer by John Gresham. Um, I don't really have that many colorful books on my shelf, but I like this one because it has, like, the orange up here and then it has like lime green and lime green and orange on the spine but then if you take the dust jacket off you have this nice orange color and then the spine is nice and teal so that one's pretty colorful so that's what I picked okay <laughs> for the fifth doctor it's books about sports well I don't really read about sports so, I don't really have any books about sports. Sorry, couldn't really do that one. Okay, for the sixth Doctor, we have a powerful villain. For my tag, I was not going to repeat any books. So, I was going to pick Voldemort, but I already did a Harry Potter book. So, instead, I picked Kronos from the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. Um, he's like a titan, so... He's powerful, and he's a villain, so I picked him. Okay, for the seventh Doctor, we have a romantic book. I picked The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. Nicholas Sparks books make me cry, <laughs> so I cannot read more than one of them, like, in a row. So, but I really liked this book. It has a bunch of romance in it, a bunch of tragic stuff that'll make you cry as well, but... I really loved this book, so go check it out if you haven't. Okay, for the eighth doctor, we have a book that you wish you could forget. Well, I kind of forgot about this book, and then I remembered it, that I didn't like it, and then I kind of forgot about it again. So, it's kind of <laughs> that kind of thing. So, I picked The Red Pyramid by Rick Warden. I did not like this book at all. I would be fine if it never existed. So I picked that one for this. Okay. We have for the ninth Doctor. A book that got you back into a specific genre. I picked Heatwave by Richard Castle. No, it's not actually by Richard Castle. Because that's a fake character that's on the TV show Castle. If you watch the TV show Castle, it's on ABC. And... You know, it's about a writer who pairs up with a detective, and this is like the book series that the writer in the TV show wrote. So, it's a really good book, and you should check it out if you haven't. You also need to check out the TV show. It's called Castle, and it's really awesome. Nathan Fillion, right here. Yeah, he plays Castle, so you should check this out. Okay, for the 10th Doctor... We have your favorite super hyped book, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. 
I did not want to read it because it was so hyped, but then I read it and I absolutely loved it. No, I do not want to read any more of John's books because I hear they're all the same and I do not want to ruin this one. Eventually, I might read some of his other books, but not right now, not anytime soon. So, super hyped book that I love, Tenth Doctor. There we go. For the Eleventh Doctor, it's your favorite childhood book. So I have Amelia Bedelia by Frizz Sabell and Barbara Sabell Thomas. Oh, that, but that was illustrated. It's by Peggy Parrish. Oh, sorry guys. Let's see. Um, I loved this book as a kid. It's about a maid who takes everything literally. Like, her um, employer wrote her a list to do. For one example, this the whole book's about this. One example is they told her to draw the drapes. Which just, you pull the curtains back. That's what it means to do. But she took it literal. Literally. <laughs> Not literal. Literally. And she literally got a piece of paper and a pencil and drew a picture of the drapes to give it to them. Because that's what she thought she was supposed to do. Great children's book. Okay, I also picked for this one Madeline. Um, so, yeah, you can see it. I loved Madeline as a kid. I was Madeline for many, many a Halloweens. I had a Madeline themed birthday party. I absolutely loved Madeline. It was also a TV show. So, yeah. Okay, for the 12th Doctor, we have our most anticipated book release. This book's already released, but I picked. Opposition by Jennifer L. Armantrout. I just recently started the Lux series and I'm currently reading the third book right now. So I can't wait to finish the series and read this one. This um this book came out on August 5th of this year. So I'm pretty excited to finish up the series and find out what happens next. So yeah. Okay, so that's the end of the Doctor Who book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't really have anyone to tag because I don't really know anybody. So I'm going to tag all of you viewers who are watching this. So you should do it and you should post it and comment a link down below of your video so I can check that out. Because I would love to see you guys' videos. So do that and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.